Okay, so I want to walk you through how to calculate VAR or value at risk in Excel. Uh, to start off, I just took some data uh, from the stock market on Netflix and I threw that into Excel. I just did this uh, to have a sample data set. Feel free to use whatever data set that you need to use. Uh, so I just calculated the percentage return for this data set uh, and then I just threw it over here into uh, another sheet. So it's just a simple percentage return. And so now we want to see the value at risk at a the 95th percentile. So if you want to do that, I'm going to show you three different ways on how to do that. Uh, the first way is a really simplistic way. So we first want to count the data, see how many data points that we have. And then so we have 250. So we want to rank it. We want to get a rank for the 95th percentile. So we multiply it by 0.95. And this is rounding it, so it's going to be 238 data point. So now we want to sort the data from smallest to highest, and then we're going to rank it. So if we type in three here and extend it down, we have all 250 data points ranked. And so we see that the VAR at the 95th percentile uh, is the 238 data point. So we will go down and find that point. And that's 238, so it's 5.36%. Now, the, that's a simple way. Uh, there's a more formulaic approach is using percentile inclusive or percentile exclusive. Um, it's a little outside the scope of this project or this video, but uh, it really comes down to how the N is calculated times the K, which K references the 95th percentile. Uh, so I'll just show you how to use both of them for this video. So if you go to percentile inclusive uh, and then we'll just load in the array and then we'll type in comma 0 0.95 and this shows us that the uh, percentile or the 95th percentile is 5.33 percent and then we want to look at percentile exclusive and then comma 0 0.95 and then this shows us that the percentile is 5.36%, which is what we got in the previous um, simplistic view. Now, one thing to note about the percentile is that the data doesn't have to be sorted over here to work, uh, so it kind of alleviates some of the steps. Additionally, it linearly interpolates between the two data points uh, when there isn't an the exact number. Uh, so if we expand this decimal point out, we can see that it was rounded, uh, so then these two functions will literally interpolate between the 30, 237th data point and 238th data point to get a more accurate um, <clears throat> value at risk number. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments and I'll be sure to get back to you. Thanks for watching.